Good evening, everybody. Welcome to round two of the Let's Make Hamilton a Ferrari World Champions Series. Yes, we return tonight here for the Jeddah Corniche. Welcome on in. I, I read some of the chat before we started. What, what was the comment I saw? A father. And it's 2 a.m. where you live. That is wild. And Smurf. Coming in with a tier one sub to toast. Thank you very much, mate. Welcome on in, everybody. Yeah, we're going to try and jump into this. It's a bit of a late night stream tonight for those of you on YouTube. Uh, we streamed tonight already, actually, the opener of the 212 Racing League. Taz, thank you for becoming the channel sponsor. Uh, I don't know why it comes up with that gif with it, but you now also so. If you become a channel sponsor on YouTube, unfortunately I can't do it on Twitch, um, you actually get access. So tomorrow is the start of our new My Team career mode. Um, so you actually get access to that right now if you want to watch the opening round uh, from Bahrain there. So if you head over to the community tab, uh, you should be able to get access to that. But thank you very much uh, for joining or rejoining the crew, I believe. But yeah, hope everyone is having a good Thursday night. Like I said, we're going to try and dive into this quite quickly because um, I want to. I want to try and get on. I want to taste glory uh, tonight there as well. Um, as yeah, we're back on the Jeddah Corniche this time around. So, if you missed out on round one of this series, what happened? Well, we finished P two to Max Verstappen um, by I believe it was eight tenths of a second. And the end of the night there. Uh, Unlusty, thank you for the follow. Eight tenths of a second was all the difference was in the end. Charles Leclerc lost out to Sergio Perez as well. Uh, Charles unfortunately got a little bit thrown under the bus uh, as the weekend went on. We, we've kind of learnt that Hamilton is rapid over one, uh, sorry, over a race. Leclerc is rapid over one lap. Kind of what we knew in real life. Uh, unlike what we didn't know in real life uh, is that Lance Stroll is apparently quicker than Fernando Alonso inside F1 Manager. Because that makes sense. Um, for those of you that want to know where Carlos Sainz went, he went straight to Mercedes. It was basically a straight swap um, between Hamilton and Carlos Sainz. So I don't think it really interrupted anything else in the game. Uh, we still have Nick DeFries as well uh, down at AlphaTauri, which I always think is quite funny. But yeah, the Jetta Corniche, though, should be one of the quickest races we actually do uh, on the calendar as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully... We can have a good one tonight. So, I don't think we really can do anything. we got new aerodynamic testing period. Uh, and we've now completed the inspection of the aerodynamic car parts following the Bahrain Grand Prix. As you'll be aware, the condition of the aerodynamic car parts will gradually decline as the car covers more distance on the track. So, they need to be assessed regularly. Um, so, everything passed, which is good. That's what we hoped would do. Um, and it does then mean that we can spend some time getting the car ready then for the next oh no stop i want to set up another car upgrade to do so car development we're already doing a huge rear wing overhaul which should arrive ready for um australia next time out what else do we want to do though chat do we think chassis side pods or underfloor is going to be the way to go a lot of you were telling me what to do last time out, um, and I don't know, I don't know if if we were, if we were being wise by doing the rear wing, or whether we need to try something else. Welcome on in, uh, BRT. Hope you're doing well, mate. Yeah, chassis, side pods, or underfloor. People, are just, Smurfs, telling me chassis. Smurfs normally a pretty wise gentleman, so I think I think we might listen to Smurf on that one. Um as something has happened, but I didn't see what it was. If I click on that one, will it show up? I don't know. Someone someone might have followed. Someone might have dropped. Oh, I don't know what it was, but thank you either way. Others would beg to differ. Fair enough. Um, we will go... We'll go with chassis. We'll try and do a massive upgrade then on the chassis, because again, we have got a load of new MAU hours. we got a load of wind tunnel hours. Um, I can put on grid comparison in a second. I'll do this first of all, uh, and then we will dive in with that. Um, so yeah, we'll go with that then. Design focus. I don't know, is there any way we can kind of... 
car one rank on grid. So if we do that then, that's going to pretty much promote us up to the top of the board in terms of top speed. So I don't think we really need top speed. Um, but apparently it doesn't really make us any better if we do anything else. If we go like that, then we're better high speed. We'll, we'll leave them all pretty standard then, I reckon. Um, do one upgrade without time being used. Hey? Can you can you treat it, can you? Baxter? Um, 1644 Supremacy? Welcome both on in. Uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll stick with that. I mean, we got we got plenty of time to learn. I mean, the Ferrari is not a bad car. We should be in the fight anyway. Um, and I believe, yeah, we've only got four engineers. So that's going to take us about a month to do. Um, so it'll be done after the Australian Grand Prix. Um, I don't actually know. Is Shanghai on this calendar? I don't believe it is, is it? I think Shanghai is also dropped. So, yeah, Alba Park is there. Um, and then next up will be Baku. So, yeah, we've got plenty of time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix to try and get that all in uh, and all sorted, ready to go. So I think we're basically ready then um, to head to the track. We've got an extended deadline on the rear wing. That's a shame. Pay overtime. We, we wanted that done nice and soon. But that won't arrive on the car then either, ready for Saudi, which is a shame. Uh, this is F1 manager, Sabre. Cronky, welcome on in, mate. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, let, let's go. To, let's go to the Grand Prix then, chat. So we should be able to reach Q3 again, shouldn't we? Um, what can I add to those? We'll reach Q2. We'll do that. Uh, what will we do? We will finish fourth or better. I think that's certainly fair with the cars we've got. Uh, and we will, yeah, we'll definitely qualify top six as well. We're we're, we're a pretty comfortable second best early on, or at least we were last time out. Dare to make me a moderator. That if if someone says I dare you to make me a moderator, that makes me slightly scared. Uh, the next F1 game I reckon will be out sort of June, early June is my guess. But we don't. <laughs> Sorry, Cronky. Sorry, Cronky. We're here in Jeddah, where the tension is boiling as we head into the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. The circuit at Jeddah, spread along streets that run next to the Red Sea, is one of Formula One's highest speed tracks. It's a test of skill from start to we finish. We love it. We love it. Season three, Seven Lewis in McLaren. Can you get Jeddah Seb in this one? Can you? Is hot and high powered, demanding speed. Verstappen and Leclerc are Alpine. That is disgusting. Having in the league race, it was it was Starting quite dramatic. On the whole, here, it was a good race. Ever mindful of opportunities that a safety that car gone? could give. In the last round, Max Verstappen flew to victory. The I think that's proving a bit unfair. that he can be absolutely unstoppable when he's in such fine form. Why, why have I lost Let's my bat? Get this underway. A bit odd. I don't like that. Does that work? Have I broke it? Oh, beautiful. We've got the banner back, I think. Yeah, we have. Wonderful. Right, so, I mean, it's Jeddah. It should be a pretty dry, we dry weekend, shouldn't it? Uh, which is wonderful. So, Ferrari apparently is strong here. So, this is absolutely a track we can win at, I reckon. It's always it's always nice to see some of the OGs jumping back in. Yeah, don't worry. The full, the full league race stream will go up as well. Don't worry about that. Right, um, so I think, yeah, game plan again then, just like last time out, of course, will be try and get the car set up nicely in Q, uh, in FP1 even. Well then, let obviously the drivers fine-tune it themselves in FP2 and FP3. So obviously we know this track's low down for, so we want plenty of speed. Uh, but apart from that, we don't really know what else we're going to need. I always love it as well on this game, the way the drivers think they want less traction. Like, why on earth would you ever want less traction in a car? Like, I understand oversteer and that kind of thing. Uh, what we'll do is we'll run Hamilton on a really, really low wing setup. Kind of see how that works. Uh, and try and build it back up the other way in other places. Uh, but yeah, I don't quite get how the AI want that. Like, why would you want less braking stability in, in your Formula 1 car? It, it seems very odd to me. 
The 2020... Oh, I, was, I keep getting for some reason, even though they're my clips, some of the F1 2021 clips showing back up. Really and nice. I watched back... Um, the final My Team race I did back on F1 2021, it was in Abu Dhabi. I was, I think I was in a three-way title fight with Bottas, who was at McLaren. Uh, no, George Russell, sorry, at Red Bull, wasn't it? Um, and it rained in Abu Dhabi in, like, the final five laps. We did a 100% race and it rained right at the end. It was really odd. Oh, well, I was like, that game was so much fun. I hope F1 24 catches some of that magic again. Because F1 2021 was so hype. I like even the last race on that series has... Well, I mean, obviously now, it's a long time gone. But has like 20,000 views, which is mental. Um, but yeah, Hamilton and Leclerc, then back out on track. I'm going to try and obviously not put the entire focus just on Lewis. We are going to try and make sure Leclerc uh, doesn't get thrown under the bus as well over the course of this weekend. But obviously, tonight we're going to... I mean, we should be able to sim through a lot more of it, shouldn't we? Um, you know, kind of round one was obviously a lot of the hype of seeing Lewis in that car. I looked so young because I was a lot younger and, than I am now. And clearly, clearly, you know, making more content has made me age horrendously. Um, why isn't Lewis out there? I thought, did I accidentally send him back into the pit lane or something? That was a bit odd. Um, but yeah, obviously we can, we can fast forward a bit more stuff. Uh, all the AI boxed you on the final lap of the Grand Prix, but they went on to another set of drives for some reason. It was a really odd race. But yeah, that game was so much fun. So much fun. Right, well, Lewis immediately then isn't far away from Charles. Despite the fact he's got literally no rear wing on that car. F1 2022 did really kill the vibe of it. You can set up the car before practice? Okay. I will keep that in mind for next time. Definitely try and remember that. How highly do you rate this game? Oh, I don't... I, I, the weird thing is with F1 Manager for me is because they didn't really change anything, or they, they did change a lot, actually. That's a very unfair statement. But where they didn't sort of change anything groundbreaking, they just kind of... It almost felt like F1 Manager 22 v version 2. Uh, I've struggled to kind of get into it. Like, it, it's never when I enjoy it that I... It's never that I don't enjoy playing it. Is it okay? Oh, Charles not happy. Um, but it's just like... Don't find myself playing it enough. Which I should get back into. It's a fantastic game for streaming as well. Which I think is really good fun. Right, so we'll try and put a setup on the Claire. Work out what he doesn't like. Yeah, they basically just made a... They basically... This game was what F1 Manager 22 should have been. Like, we're kind of already worried that 24... Either 23... I don't think 23 is going to be the last game. I believe there's kind of a lot riding on F1 Manager 24. Um... But clearly Leclerc wants more wing. A bit odd. Um, but yeah, I really hope, obviously, the next game kind of brings me back in love with it. Because um, I, I should play more F1 Manager. I do enjoy playing F1 Manager still when I do manage it. But yeah, you kind of look at it. And I think a lot of people kind of assume, you know, well, if it's going to be like F Football Manager but for F1, then it's going to be incredible. And I mean, I wonder if you could try and get them. You know, I don't know who develops Football Manager. But try and hit them up one year and go do that. I think, yeah, they're going to have to really put all their eggs. So, Hamilton not happy with the car either, so we'll call him in. Hopefully, he's going to peel in now rather than do another lap. Uh, which he is. Fantastic. Uh, but, yeah, I think they're going to have to put all their eggs in the manager basket for next year. Like, the game coming out this year. Um, if they really want to have any help with it. So, Oversteer he's happy with. Uh, we have we did have too much speed though, and yeah, clearly they want a really low anti roll bar setting as well, which is a bit odd. Uh, we'll try that with Lewis though, see if he's more happy with that. We've gone with quite an extreme alteration on both cars as we get ready to send them back out there. Then, but I mean, only four tenths away from the Red Bulls. There, oh, I mean, Paris is on medium. Uh, sorry, on hards. Max is on mediums. Um, so we're not looking we're not looking too bad either. How much have you spent on iRacing? Far too much. That's all I'm going to say. Like, I've got basically every like normal road course. I've got a lot of the ovals and most of the cars. So probably a lot of money. An unhealthy amount of money. What happened to your Saturday night plan? Unfortunately, Smurf, I didn't realise, but last 2-1-2 actually is out way earlier in the day. 
Um, and basically, my parents are away this weekend, so I'm going to have to be, like, there to let her back in the house. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to do the race. I might do, like, a Saturday stream anyway, a little bit earlier. as a bit of fun. Do something else. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to do that. Right, let's see what Leclerc's saying then. Is he happier with the car this week? This time, even. Last two and two is the best way for Matt to talk about his girlfriend. Mario Kart stream the last two and two. That would be hilarious, but chaotic. She gets she gets aggressive when we play Mario Kart. Because, I mean, she knows full well. And, like, I've not argued against it. When I play Mario Kart, I am a dick. Like, I just am. I'm sorry. I'm not proud of it, but I am. I'm reading both YouTube and Twitch chat, Cronky Stonky. We stream on both. Um, so, I'm just, I like, I will quite happily win 20 races in a row, kind of thing. And not give her a chance, which is sad. How much does it cost to run Daytona? Uh, we need the car, you need the track, probably about 30 quid. Right, okay, so, clearly they want no braking stability. Which is very odd. Right, we're going to have to run a really extreme setup here. Corner in, we give you, oh, okay. Oh, oh, the traction was perfect. Oh. Um, RNK, thank you for the follow. Oh, we've got two notifications coming through over the top of each other now. If I get rid of those, maybe? I think that'll work. Family 2 and 2 Monopoly stream sounds like a terrible idea. My family hate Monopoly. Svet, welcome on in, mate. Hope you're doing well. Right. Uh, I really want to try and keep that traction perfect. If we can. So if we go like that, can we? Oh, that's just such a shame. No, we need we need to keep the wing there. Oh, actually, if we go like that, and we go like that, and we bring that back there, or if we bring that back, how have I got? Have I, got, I don't get how you get too much braking stability in a car. Like it's basically just Matt plays around with buttons for five minutes. So we need to bring that all the way there to make the braking stability poor. Uh, but we can... Well, we need to leave it there. We'll put you... No, we need to go... We need to get to make sure we got the straight line speed, don't we? If we go like that... If we go like that, it seems like it's... Unfortunately, the traction is not going to be perfect anymore. Unless I can go... Ooh, actually, if I go like that, that's pretty much bang on then. That's all we're going to be able to do. So what I should have done there is copied Leclerc's numbers and put it on Lewis's car. Yeah, no, Gwats, I thought we'll, we'll dive in and do a separate uh, F1 manager stream, trying to make Lewis world champion. Right, we'll bring Hamilton in then, so we basically know what the optimal setup is going to be. Um, but i just got to try and make sure it happens on Lewis's car as well. Lethal Company stream with Bradson. I couldn't tell you what Lethal Company still is. The Alpine livery, I don't like. I will stand by my disdain for the Alpine livery. Right, okay, Lewis clearly wants very different car characteristics, though. Which is interesting. So that's not quite going to work how I hoped it would. Uh, if we go like that... We want really high front wing gives you bad braking stability. It's very odd. If we go like that, and then... You go like that? This is very odd. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So if we go like that then with Lewis, hopefully he'll like that. We haven't got much time left in the session, though, to really get these all fixed. The Toro Rosso reveal chat is at 6.15 tomorrow morning, and I'm really not sure I want to be up for that. I'll be honest. Like, do I have to get up at 6.15 chat? Will you join me? I, I, I say, I've heard of Lethal Company, and I know Gary, who I do co-op, has uh, played it. I think there might be talk... There won't be talk of Lewis going to Ferrari in this season. Oh, we have to drive to survive, but there will be next season. Right, let's hope Lewis and Leclerc are happy then with the cars. Clearly, a lot of the drivers have found some pace as well. I'll be up for work anyway. But this is the thing, I'm not like... If you told me 18 months ago I'd have to be up at 6am, that was a lie-in for me. Um, but I don't know now. 
I'm not a fan of the Sal delivery, but other people seem to like it. To be fair, toast, isn't it like quarter past eight for you? So it's even easier. Like, you shouldn't struggle as much as I should. I need to get back into a routine. So, Gwats, if you don't know, I used to work in a supermarket, and the latest I started was six. Yeah, I haven't really seen a livery I like. Like, even now, I don't... Like, I know Gary, for example. He's kind of what I base a lot of this on. Gary gets up, genuinely, chat, like, 11 a.m. And I don't get how he does it. But, like, even now, like, I'm normally... So, like, this morning I woke up, I was up, and I was... So, I stayed at the last two and two's house last night. So, I came home at half seven. Um, but, yeah, normally I'm sort of awake by half seven still. Don't open till 9. See, that's the dream. That's the dream. So, Aston Martin looked quick. Red Bull obviously looked quick. We don't look that bad, though, considering we're on hards. We're fairly close. Cheeky man. Not quite sure that's it. When the Visa Cash App RB career mode dropping. Is that the team we do a career mode? I've never done. So, Toro Rosso, Alpha Tauri, Visa Cash App. Has never been a team I've done a career mode in. Just because I always think that if you win with them, they just put you in the Red Bull and it's just odd. But other people have done it occasionally. Maybe I do that at some point. All right, so we're about half a second away off Red Bull then. Looks like our battle's going to be a lamp with Alonso. I didn't... Sorry, I need to scroll back up. Let's have a look. I didn't know what you're on about. Oh, is this your uh, career mode? Let's have a look. So you've got Ricardo and Ocon at Red Bull, Bottas and Sonoda at Ferrari, Norris and Gasly could be a Merck lineup, Hulk and DeFries, Hamilton and Vettel have gone to McLaren is wild, Verstappen and Russell at Alpine, Sergeant and Leclerc at Alfa Romeo, Joe and Albon, that's believable, Stroll and Magnussen and Alonso and Sainz, what is that? And no Formula 2 drivers. That's really odd. Of all the teams I started on with Alpha Romeo. I've done career modes with Alpha Romeo before. It's fine. Don't have to worry about that, Gwats. I'll let you off. Right, so drivers are pretty happy then. Going into the rest of this. Leclerc is really happy with the car, so that's good. Um, so, yeah. We're moving on now. Yeah, so Gary's favourite team would either be Alban second. and Joe or Seven Joe. Speed street circuit. Matt did have a job back in Alpha Romeo. Back in today. Um, which I think that's what Gwats is referencing. Strategists will be looking for or Gwats even, sorry, I should say. But need to make sure drivers get their lap in. Now, Karun, you and I were actually just talking about that man there, Max Verstappen. How do you think he'll be feeling today? They were looking pretty sharp in practice and setting good lap times. So they're probably feeling fairly confident uh, I now. hope so, but Intel kid. It'd be nice to see him get one more win, wouldn't it, for Merck, before he goes to... I mean, the madness is, what if he wins the world title with Merck? Which is highly unlikely, but imagine if he did. Right, so Q1 we should be able to blast through chat. Q1 and Q2 should be quite easy. They were last time. We've basically just got to try and... So I, w I want to try and make sure I get your name correct. So, set up then. I believe both drivers are happy with the cars. I believe they're both pretty much optimal. Uh, ooh, not, not that. Uh, oh, look at that. Three optimals and two greats is not bad going. And Hamilton. He's bad on the oversteer. Hamilton's setup isn't quite as good. We'll go like that. We'll make some final tweaks. That actually looks pretty good immediately. We go like that. There we go. Hamilton should be happy. Lewis is going to do a Damon Hill. Riley, welcome on in, mate. Hope you're doing well. I'm sure you're playing F1 manager on your Thursday night. F1 manager? Uh, football manager, even, I should say. Yeah, the whole idea that Lewis is going to Ferrari is still mental to everyone. I don't think Lewis will regret the move. I think he's always wanted to race for Ferrari at some point. Uh, maybe, I mean... And I'm sure there's probably a bit of him that is always going to doubt the move. You know, leaving Merck that have given you 
you know, so much throughout your time in the sport. It's always going to be difficult to do. Right, so I'm hoping then... I believe Leclerc's got an Aston Martin at his trumpet, but he should be all right. Um, so he should hopefully get clean track space then on his first lap. It's your least favourite track on the calendar. Where are you going, Riley? Where are you going? I don't think he'd stay anyway. Even if he did win a World Cup, I think he'd still go to the Ferrari. He wants to experience that. Oh, oh, Alonso, man. Get out of my gearbox. Come on, you got to buy me dinner first. A uh, for Norwich. Fair play, Riley. That's a trek from your ends. I thought she was local. That's when you reckon Merkel announces successor? Uh, when go. Kimi Antonelli gets the super license points. That'll be when they announce the successor. What is take manual control, chat? Like, what is it? Give you full control of a pace fuel. You. Oh, okay. I don't care. Fair enough. So, Toast, the plan is we are driving over really early Friday morning. So, Spa 6 Hour uh, is quite a mental one. So, we're going to drive over really early Friday morning, uh, get there to maybe see qualifying. Ah, fair enough, Friday, I thought so. Um, so, we're going to drive down Friday, hopefully see qualifying, and then we're staying in a hotel in Germany, so the other side of Belgium. Um, and then we're going to obviously come to the track, watch the race, and then we're going to basically drive back towards the Channel Tunnel, stay in a hotel in France on Saturday night, get a really early Channel Tunnel home, uh, and then be home Sunday. So it's going to literally be like two yeah, days. Be one. Quicker than Verstappen? Okay. Is Hamilton going to be able to match that? Let's wait and see. Where do I get me deer to? So Leclerc did 32.2, Hamilton did 32.2, Leclerc did 32.5, Hamilton did 32.5, sorry, yeah, 5.39. We might actually be the quickest car here, chat. Like, we've got two tenths on max. Hamilton, I believe, is fractions up on Charles as well here. So Leclerc's clearly got a little bit more through the corners in the first sector, um, but he's struggling a little bit more. Bradson, trying to get up to your ends might be quite difficult. Did you mod him in? 1644. So it looks like Peter Ooh. at the moment. Four hundredths of a second in it. Wow, we. Okay, so uh, call the car and we'll box box. Hamilton versus uh, Leclerc could be, but it's very, very different context to Hamilton versus Rosberg. Leclerc, I think. So apparently now, chat, Leclerc knew. That's a shame that Paris has gone quicker, by the way. Leclerc knew before he signed his long term deal. That Hamilton was going to be joining, or Hamilton wanted to join, and I don't think Leclerc views that as a bad thing. You know, Leclerc is already a ridiculously fast driver over one lap, but I think he wants to try and gleam off every last bit he can off of Lewis to kind of work out, you know, how he's able to do it just every time without fail. That's what he wants to work out. That's what he wants to do. Hey, Adam, thank you for the raid, man. I appreciate it. Hope you've had a good stream. Has Adam been doing some open lobbies tonight? Chat, or has he been practicing for uh, Creative Series at the weekend? I hope you're all doing well, though. I hope you've had a wonderful evening. XDF1 Pro, thank you for the follow as well, man. Open lobbies. It was absolute chaos. Whenever I've tuned into one of Adam's streams, he's having chaotic open lobbies. It is always wild. Always wild. What do I think about Horner and the allegations? I don't think... I think we're going to find out tomorrow, aren't we? I, I will try and get back on some open lobby smell. So, apparently the BBC are now reporting that Horner is likely not going to survive. So, not looking good for Christian Horner at the moment, chat. But we'll wait and see. I don't want to talk about it too much until we kind of know what's going on, to be honest. Because, obviously, depending on what the context is... Um, it's not really something you really want to speculate on, obviously, especially if it has affected people, you know, on an emotional level as well. How's F1 manager treating me? It's all right. Yeah, you, I've found when I have done open lobbies in the past, it's people are trying to target you, which is it's which is fun, and then it sometimes gets a bit boring. 
like that. Maybe maybe we'll have to jump in and do some. Uh, MK Deans as well, Dennis. I'm probably butchering your name, but thank you for the follow. I've always felt Christian Horner has a bit of little man energy, but there we are. Yeah, we're still very, very successful. Right, okay. So, we were pretty much there on the money in our first session. And you can go, track is clear. You can go when you're ready. And circuit is all clear. Yeah, you can get some good racing after a while, can't you? Which I think is the thing as well. Uh, it's also that thing, of course, if you don't want to then do a stream where it's like, oh, this person crashed into me. They're getting removed from the lobby. This, that, and the other. Like, I, haven't got, I, haven't got the, I haven't got the energy for that. But, you know, it is what it is. Right, come on then. Second, so the reason why I slow down uh, and watch it on proper speed in Q2, uh, in qualifying, sorry, chat, is two reasons. Numero uno, you get to see whether you've been blocked by an AI car, because sometimes it's difficult to tell. Numero dos, the AI are quicker for some reason. It, uh, it was the same issue in last year's game, but the AI for some reason are quicker when you watch them on normal speed in qualifying. Um, but Hamilton and Leclerc again looking quick in sector one. Hamilton this time around has gone fastest by fractions. So I wonder if we need to try and really utilize the slipstream off one another. Uh, the six hours will be on World Endurance and that kind of thing. Numero Trez, it's cool to watch, exactly. So, Leclerc goes purple sex two. Hamilton immediately goes faster there as well. We are talking about hundredths of a second here, but Lewis is up. So it might be by the time we get to the end of qualifying, we've got to be really strategic and try and get both cars out pretty much on top of each other. I have heard about Oli Behrman. I'm looking forward to it. Tom, welcome on him. Hope we're doing well. We need Maldonado back in the mode. That would be disgusting. Do so I do like a Maldonado career mode chat on F123? Boom. P1 and P2 again then. Fantastic. Good luck. 27.5 is fast, man. Like around here is wild. But Red Bull haven't gone out yet, so clearly they're waiting. They're biding their time. So you're P1 at the moment. So just confirming boxing and back into the garage. Yep. Just roll a dice if you win or crash. Not quite, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah, looks like Red Bull... The gap actually is pretty minimal still. Um, oh, Bradson's redeemed sunglasses. Give me a minute, chat. I've got to go get my sunglasses now. <laughs> He's such a dick. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know what that means, basically, when someone redeems those for 25,000 points, I have to wear a pair of sunglasses for the rest of the stream and not mention it. Um, so, Sykes went to Merck. It was a straight... Verstappen's out! <laughs> Verstappen's out in Q2! Oh, that's hilarious. Right, get, let me go grab those quickly. I don't even know where they are. I think they're downstairs. Oh. Verstappen out, though, in Q2, chat. That makes things a lot better. Not being funny, Bradson. This is gonna really hurt my night, hurt my eyes when I go to bed tonight. How did Verstappen improve? I literally disappear and I come back and he's gone onto pole. I thought he was out. How has that happened? What on earth is that about? <laughs> How has he done that? Spoke too soon. It, 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 once the time's up, is he still able to do his... I thought that was like the end of the session. That is so annoying. So annoying. Right, where's my mouse gone, chat? I've lost my mouse. 
Oh, there it is. Right, let's make sure as well I'm actually streaming up on Manager again. Sorry, chat. I just realised none of you could see that then. So Max has made it through into Q2. Into Q3, even. So he didn't bottle it like... Well, I say he didn't really bottle it IRL, but... That's, that's a shame. So we are about a tenth, two tenths away. But Leclerc always becomes nuts in Q3. Um, so wait and see what he can do. Drippy 212. You love it. You love it, chat. This is going to really mess with my eyes. I'm going to go to bed tonight and like everything's going to be distorted. Right, so what I'm going to do then is for Q3, we've got enough time to do two runs. How many points will we need to get him to wear a gimp mask? A million. I have seen the database editor and I'm tempted to use it at some point. If I get back onto this game a lot more than I will. Who do you think will go Audi for 2026? Probably Sainz uh, and Porsche, I'm going to say. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send out both drivers immediately with each other. So pretty much every other car is out on track. So I believe first run then, Hamilton is going to be towing Leclerc. And then second run, we're going to try and swap it over. So it's hopefully going to give them both a shot here to try and claim pole. This feels so weird. Wearing a Ferrari hat and sunglasses in my bedroom at 20... Well, not my bedroom, my office at 20 past 9 at night. So let's just focus on the outlet. Okay. Some warm-up in the first lap. Outlet. Yeah, YouTube is going to be very confused like this. Right. Uh, we'll sim forward a little bit, because hopefully it should make the AI slightly slower as well. Um, but right, we'll ride with Leclerc then, so we shouldn't get held up by traffic unless someone heads out. Hulkenberg made Q3. Who did he beat? Oh, Stroll. That makes sense. Bono with Hamilton in Ferrari IRL. We don't quite know yet. Need to get you a full race suit. That would get so warm. Like, this room already is unbearably warm most of the time. That would be disgusting. I don't think there's any point in bringing Bottas in. You may as well just build up the team around George or Kimi. Hey, K2. Hope you're doing well, mate. Nice to see you. Right. Oh, we got yellow flag. Someone's binned it. Oh, su right, session right. suspended. Is that Gasly or Ocon? Of course it's Ocon. Of course it's Ocon. What's he done, chat? First red flag of the year. It's Esteban Ock on the fraud. Oh, it's a big crash. He's wall at the wall. And What's no one's hitting him. What's that, honestly? Oh. It was your lack of talent, mate. And the fact you got an awful livery for 2024. And clearly then, not what everyone in the garage would have wanted to see. No, that's fair enough, Intel. I think a lot of people dislike it. Five second penalty. 20 minutes until the session restarts. That's okay. So that unfortunately is... Actually, that doesn't matter too much because it means we'll get out to go out on a slightly scrub set, which is fine. So effectively, they've done half a lap. Are we going again? I reckon Ocon should have to start from the pit lane. All right, so everyone's trying to... Oh, I've spaced them out now. I'm a moron, ain't I? Damn it, man. All right, so everyone's got to go out for a lap then. Apparently, everyone is already setting a lap. Um, but let's, let's stay with Leclerc then. I'll have to give Hamilton some slipstream on the final run. I might be throwing Should Leclerc into the bus slightly. Good to go. Have you chat as well? Have you seen? So Formula 2 and Formula 3 this year, if you are the cause of a red flag in qualifying, your lap time is removed. I think they should add that. I think they're using that to test it. And I reckon 2025 they'll be using that in F1 if it works smoothly. I think it's a good idea. It's what they do in IndyCar. And it's it's very, very good over there. Ah, oh, Bradson. Get, get, get a nice early night, mate. Ferrari aren't muddied. We're only 41 seconds off the pace after the first run. What's the time looking like? Uh, 32.5. Lewis did a 32.3. So Leclerc is struggling here at the moment. Exactly. I mean, you can basically... The best way to describe it is either a Michael Schumacher in 2006 or a Rosberg in 14. 
But if you add the new red flag rule, then... Oh yeah, Ferrari IRL will be muddied for that. So Verstappen set 27.7 then, so slower than what we did in Q2. Um, Michael Schumacher and Mika Hakkinen at Ferrari together. That is fireworks. Like, there was a fantastic mod on last year's F1 manager game, wasn't there? Uh, Leclerc 28. Low 28. Currently What's Hamilton going to do? He's quicker in sector 1. He's quicker in sector 2. Not by a lot, though. Should be into the 27s. Oh, Hamilton P2 then. So, so he goes onto the front row along the Stapper then. That's good. That's good when map. the F2 prediction is dropping, it's either box, box. tomorrow oh, toaster at the weekend... I'm going to try and just make sure I've got them finalised in my own head first. And then I'm going to do a nice rambly video for it. Alright, so there we go. That's first run done then. But basically, we need to get the drivers back into the pit lane and straight back out there. Because this is going to be tight for time towards the end of the session. Alright, there's Hamilton literally going in. So Leclerc onto dry tyres, of course. Hamilton onto new soft tyres, of course. Uh, we've got two and a half minutes on the clock then, chat. So we're going to try and get both of them back out as soon as possible. Hey, no worries, F1 Pro. Enjoy it, mate. So Leclerc this time, then, is going to be first out there on a lap, I believe. Yes, he is. So Hamilton's going to get a little bit of slipstream. Uh, luckily, we shouldn't get held up by anyone else. Thoughts on... I mean, no Nissani or no Raul Bosch. I mean, it's so Almost sad. That's two seats now that might actually be able to go to a worthwhile Formula 2 driver. With the warm -up. So the last time Bosch or Nissani was on an F2 grid, apparently it was 2016. There's never been an F2 race without Bosch and Nissani. Uh, I mean, apparently we're getting a Chicago Grand Prix next, so we'll wait and see. Nassani's out. Boshong's out. It's a good day to be alive, ladies and gents. Clearly, I think the Israeli government have got more to worry about at the moment than what Roy Nassani does in a Formula 2 car. Stanek, to be fair to him, last year Toast wasn't that bad. He was in a Trident, not a fantastic car, and was, yep, yeah, the girlfriend's going to hate me, but he was usually better than Clem. It was just Clem scored the points. Right, let's stick then with Lewis Hamilton. Are we about to get a Ferrari pole position? Uh, Diogo Benne. Thank you for the follow. Right, go, go, go. 30 seconds left on the clock, lads. We need to see what happens. Uh, TTV, Volksy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Right, Hamilton, you've got to use that slipstream off the clan. You've got to, even if it's just a faint little bit, you've got to use it later on in this session. This is what we need to see. I don't know, to be honest. Pretty much so. The thing is, obviously, with a new Formula 2 car, is Prima and MP Motorsport should have a big advantage. So for those of you that don't know, F2 isn't really equal. Obviously, different teams can tune the car better than others. Prima is like the top dog at that. But MP Motorsport have really bagged a few of their engineers over the last few seasons. Why are both of our cars down in Sector 1? How has Hamilton done a 32-4-9 in Sector 1? That is so far off the pace. What on earth is going on? Please show me signs of improvement in Sector 2. Please, Leclerc. Oh, he's done a 27-6. Hamilton's a 27-6. So Lewis definitely isn't going to improve then. Charles might by the end of this session. Clearly the slipstream wasn't worth it. But Stappen hasn't improved. No one seems to be improving at the moment. Which is very odd. Um, so we're still locked into P2 with Hamilton. Will Leclerc improve up to maybe P4? Uh, Leclerc goes P2. Hamilton... Stays P3. So Leclerc has snatched that then right at the end. Um, and it's going to be another Verstappen Leclerc front row lockout. Um, which is pretty good. But yeah, everyone got slower right at the end of the session. There. Leclerc got slower as qualifying went on for some reason. Uh, but Hamilton actually set the fastest lap time of either Ferrari car. Verstappen and Perez though had the potential for 27 fours. So we're, we're on the money. Which is good. I want someone who did one run. 
And Hulkenberg then ahead of both Alpines, which is nice to see. Bradson, if you want to do that, my friend, you do that. Non-playable character, welcome on in. You've come at just the right time. We're about to get this race underway. Well, there's nothing quite like it. Welcome along to race day. I'm not too worried, because I know Leclerc's quicker in over one lap. Hamilton is quicker in race pace, though. Or he was last time. But even a world champion can be caught out in between the narrow walls, just as Max Verstappen found out in 2021. I what love the way they always mention that. that man right there? Leclerc. Will Leclerc win this one, chat? This Fat clap well cheeks. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> well, oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Exciting race here in Jeddah. Lewis DNF in coming. I'm waiting for both cars to take each other out. Uh, Abdron, welcome on in, mate. Hope you're doing well. Right, chat. What is the strat here? Easy. Oh, it's, a, it's an easy one stop. It's an easy one stop. So we'll put Leclerc that way. We'll split our strategies out. We'll put Lewis the other way around. Basically now it's just a case of when we get a safety car. Uh, Looker, thank you for the follow. Opinions on the Visa Cash App name. It's awful. It's awful. Uh, we'll bung in a little bit of extra fuel in the cars as well. We'll go... Yeah, we'll go max type fuel. That means we can push hard throughout the race. We know the Ferrari power unit can take it. Uh, but it also means both drivers are going to struggle off the line. So we might actually... No, we'll leave it the same. We'll leave it the same. What tip have you got, Toast? I'm scared to ask. I want to start calling it Minardi. Right. Um, let's do this thing. I'm going to tell Leclerc to go aggressive at the start. I'm going to try and keep Verstappen either with us or behind if we can jump him. I'm nervous, chat. Round two of the season. Under the lights. It's a quick I race here, we'll but we'll wait and see what happens. In this one. It's a P2 start for them. An excellent opportunity. I think, yeah, F1 manager just needs to be a little bit less hand. linear. It needs to have a bit more right. unpredictability to it. it. Is then. your leg twitching? Uh, no. I don't believe so. We're now try to push like crazy at the start and break the DRS. We will try that with Leclerc then. Leclerc's going to go for it. Phil, thank you for the follow. Five red lights. lights Good go. start, Charlie boy. Go. Go. Get him. Have him. Ah, oh, Perez. The pace there. Okay. Alright, we're going to tell Leclerc to go Please aggressive go. at the start of this. Hamilton's already lost one place. Which, oh, Hamilton's lost out to Russell as well. Hamilton, oh, he's on the mediums, isn't he? So who's got mediums, who's got softs? So Verstappen and Leclerc, are, sorry, Verstappen oh, and Perez chance. are on mediums. So we've got to get Leclerc through. That's the plan. I think F124 needs classic cars back. I'd love to see it happen, but I don't think it will. So Hamilton will try and make sure, obviously, he just stays. I mean, he dropped back loads last time, didn't he, as well? He can obviously push on the fuel as well. Uh, but we need to get Leclerc out in front. That's the goal early on here. Get Leclerc into the leader, this Grand Prix, and try then to see what Verstappen can do about it. We want to try and do it before the DRS comes out. Surely he's not going to look for it down there. No, good man. But maybe down into the final corner, Leclerc will go for this. Come on, Charlie boy. Show me what you're made of. Is he going to have a look? No. No, he's not. Down in turn one. It's really your last opportunity, Charles. We've got to get round him. We've got to get round him. Verstappen's gone defensive. There might be a window here. That red bull, though, is just so quick in a straight line. It's so frustrating. Perro sets fast slap. Leclerc to the outside. Break, breaking manoeuvre. He'll get the inside for turn two. Come on. Try your best. What? No. Don't give up. What are you doing? Keep attacking. Our tyres are already getting warm, though. we got to leave him on it, though. An injury system would be quite wild, but it could be interesting. I mean, the thing is, not very, very rarely do Formula 1 drivers get injured. I think is the big thing. Well, this plan, it hasn't failed yet, but it might be toast. We'll wait and see. I think we can try and get Leclerc ahead of Verstappen, and then maybe Perez will battle with him. Then there's hope. We basically, I'm, I'm going to let him go to the end of this lap. 
If not, then we'll just sit in and battle with the Red Bulls and just try and hang with them. Come on, Charlie. You can do this. I believe in you. What is Hamilton doing? He's already dropping back away from Russell. Okay, we need to tell Hamilton to go. Use the overtake. We cannot let Russell get out of his range. We're going to keep Leclerc with the top two. George Russell looks to be pushing though aggressive at the start. All right, come on, Charlie. You've only got you got down in towards turn one. If you can't do it by then, you're going to have to sit back. All right, come on. Oh, he's got no battery already. Literally ran out of charge. Go for a dive. Look to the inside of turn one. Okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll sit back in for now then. We'll, we'll look out of the tyres. Uh, Hamilton, we've got to make sure he gets back within the range of George. ASAP. Uh, Ray, Brad, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Harvest mode burn fuel. No. Right, Hamilton is almost out of the range now. This is good. So we've got to try and get him in the range of George, though. That's going to be really, really important early on in this race. Alonso seems to be getting dragged along now. What tyres are important early on in this race? Alonso seems to be getting dragged along now. What tyres are Alonso on, actually? Oh, Alonso's on mediums as well. That's a shame. BZ, welcome on in, mate. Hope you're doing well. Actually... Verstappen is ruining those tyres early on here. What's Leclerc going to be able to do with DRS? Is he going to be able to find something? Come on. I'm trying to use him just to top up the battery again, but still hound Max. But, I mean, kind of this race depends on whether we get, like, a well-timed safety car or something. Because, uh, obviously, even then, if Lewis could jump. Oh, Hamilton's in the range of George. That's good. So we've got away from, well, we haven't quite got away from Alonso, but we've got a bit further out. So we'll be able to put Lewis back on neutral as well then. Is he going to be able to look for something on George Russell back into one? Leclerc's still hounding Max. Oh, Leclerc's going for it. So is Lewis though. Come on, Charles. Make it happen. Go aggressive. He's got the inside for turn three, which apparently is important. How does he get barged out there? Like whether I'm on the inside or the outside, apparently I lose out in all of these battles. We'll Come on, Lewis. Get around the outside of George. That's a bold place to try and go for it. It's big. It's bold. Is it going to be beautiful, though? Avoid those curbs. We know what they're like on F123. How are we doing this? How are we side by side? Yeah, we should be able to save the tyres for Leclerc. Right, that's fine, though. We'll, we'll sit Lewis in. No, we, we need to get around. We need to go for it. Um, I also need to be careful, actually, about Leclerc's confidence. Because if he's going to not complete the move, then we've got to not make him lose confident by trying. Let's, go for it. Yeah. Let's try and get Hamilton by, then. The Merc's meant to be so bad in a straight line on this game. Has my internet died? Seems fine on my end, Bradson. Now I'm showing no issues on my end. Oh, come on, Lewis. Down the inside. Down the inside. Yes. Move complete. Wonderful. Right, that's fantastic then. And we should be in the range of the top few as well. Is Stream still alive? I think it is. Oh, George. Come on, back out, man. It's not your fight. I know you're still upset that Lewis left you. It's not your fight. No worries. Exalted. Right, come on. Yes, George, slot back in. Slot back in. Wonderful. No, nope, he's still... How, why have you given him room on the exit? You're already clear in front. Come on, we don't need to keep doing this with each other. Right, I'm going to tell Leclerc just to calm it. Use the fuel. You have so much extra. I'm saving, I'm saving it on Leclerc's car for a little bit later on in the day. Hamilton was still using it because we're in a battle at the moment. No issues on YouTube. That's good to hear. So I haven't had any issues showing up my own. So I think it might be Brass's internet. Wonderful. Right, Hamilton is clear through. You can see they've both lost the range now to Perez. So we need to try and get back in that range. Otherwise, well, I don't want to spend all day beefing George Russell here. 
I mean, Charles, yeah, surely Charles Lewis are probably your big two, aren't they? That might be able to win it away from Red Bull, but I think it's still going to be another Verstappen World title. How do we get Lewis back in that range? I mean, we're just going to keep battling George, aren't we? Which is not ideal. Let's just sit him back in, then. We'll sit Lewis in, we'll top up the battery. Even topping up the battery is not really saving us a lot. Which is a shame. Who paid you for the sunglasses? That would have been Bradson. I oh, don't say Lewis is going to do it easy this time. Of course he is. As soon as I take him off of the mega push, he gets through. Right. We're going to spend one lap trying to get him away now. I don't want to be sat battling George Russell all afternoon. If we can get him out of the range now instantly, that would be good. Oh, Leclerc's through. Hey, eh? Leclerc around the outside. He's not even being told to push. Just close up. What is this? Charles Leclerc to the lead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix then. Lewis is building up that gap over George, which is wonderful to see. If we can get that up over the one second mark before the DRS zone, that would be fantastic. And maybe get Lewis in the range. Come on. This will be a fantastic little play if we can do it. I think we have. I think Lewis... Yeah, Lewis is in the range. Perfect. Perfect little usage there, chat. So we'll bring him back into neutral. So I don't really think there's much point in Leclerc doing this against Max at the moment. I think Max has just got... That Red Bull is too fast in a straight line. And you can see there he's going to send it back down the inside at the end of the straight. But now it's a fair fight. Both Red Bulls versus both Ferraris. We have got a chance. Uh, have I brought Leclerc back down? Yes, I have. Don't worry, Charlie. It's fine. He made a banging move on him. He had to make... How is he doing this now? The AI get better the less you're pushing. It's really hard. So, tyres. Um, Verstappen and Perez are really pushing that. They're basically matching Leclerc. Hamilton is in much better shape with his tyres at the moment. So, you can basically just sit back and watch this all unfold. So, I'm going to put him into top-up mode. Just work on uh, Leclerc's back. doing all right. Uh, Verstappen's back through, though. But really, I think, to be honest, at the moment, we've kind of just got to wait towards the pit stop window. Obviously, make sure that we don't drop out the DRS range or anything like that. Um, but then it's going to be either undercut with Leclerc and try to push clear, um, which we might open up the gap over some of the back markers. It's still so weird seeing Norris and Piastri right at the back of the field. Um... But yeah. Top up though, yeah, Hamilton will be leading soon. I just gotta make sure he doesn't lose the range. It's gonna be the big thing here. I think if I put it, leave him in push mode, he's got the fuel. Uh, we can drop the lift to coast for now, we? Right, I think that's the only problem, of course, is his tyres are still slightly on the warm side. And Perez still seems to be hounding Leclerc. Um, so we've got to, we've just gotta make sure Hamilton stays in this range. Of course, if top two to continue to fight, then this is fantastic for Lewis. Because Perez is burning up his tyres sat watching. Um, and we're able just to kind of sit in and enjoy. And obviously Leclerc's got it a little bit easier. Because obviously, well, I mean, he's going for another move on Max. Um, but of course, Max hasn't got DRS. So he's not losing time against him. Um, so yeah, this is really odd at the moment. So this time around, Verstappen then will get the DRS. I don't think there's any really much point in saving the tyres for Leclerc too much. Um, be, what, what's, what's happening to Lewis? How, like, how does he drop back so quickly? Keep pushing. Oh, we're going to have to put Lewis in neutral. We can't keep dropping back like that. And we've got to make sure now that Perez doesn't let Max get away. I think the, the horrible thing is, of course, we know those Red Bulls are shredding their tyres. So it's kind of like, do we hope that we get them back at the end of the race if they have to go hards? Or do we just kind of let Lewis sit in? Leclerc's got enough battery now. I don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, but yeah, it's a real management game early on. Hamilton's just still at warm on those tyres. We can get him back in the neutral. And that'll be good. Just obviously make sure George and... I mean, George and Fernando now are locked in the battle, so that's fine. So hopefully they'll just ruin each other's day. And we can get away. Um, but yeah, we're just not able to get the battery back with Lewis. We just need these top three to continue battling. And hopefully it'll play into his hands later on. Because he... So... Leclerc obviously has to go mediums. Verstappen and Perez don't know whether they're going to be able to go mediums or soft. Oh, sorry. Hards or softs. Uh, but fingers crossed either way. They're going to struggle. 
Do you not think Leclerc's got a chance to win if he undercuts? Keep it up. Or do we reckon we got to push Lewis back into this, do we? Like, at the moment, it just doesn't feel like he's got the pace, and I don't want to overwork that car. Because his tyres... Well, his tyres are finally now back in the window. I kind of want to leave him to do his thing, especially when the Red Bulls are going to do this. This is what we want to see. Red Bull battling each other. Um, and just losing each other time. This will allow Hamilton to get back in there. My plan is box Leclerc early against these Red Bulls and undercut and run away. Do a thing so someone can pay knowledge for you to take off your shirt. I think I get banned, won't I? Not I've shown nipples. I'm not even sure I want to see active aero non-playable character. Beer Gunner, thank you for the follow. Welcome on into the stream. Right, so, yeah, Lewis is just floating now. I think Leclerc we've got to try and undercut with. Then we've got to see what tyre strat Red Bull go for uh, and kind of work our way from there. Because they're still... I mean, they've taken more out of their tyres than Lewis, but just not a lot more still. That's the problem we've got at the moment. Yeah, Lewis will be able to go soft, but it's whether those Red Bulls will. That's the thing I'm worried about, if whether Red Bull are just going to do the same thing. And then Lewis is kind of just a bit too far back to do anything. The gap's still two seconds. Oh, that's too interval. we got a monitor to the leader. So, will Red Bull do the same thing, though? I mean, they're just DRSing each other constantly. What is that from Max? Okay. Why can't Leclerc or Hamilton do that? And how much battery has Leclerc now got? This is fantastic for when he does pit. So the only thing I'm worried about for Leclerc chat is how much time he's going to lose by pitting. I don't know if there's anywhere I can get that detail. Track details. Uh, is there anywhere that says how much time you lose in a pit stop? I don't think there is. Just shame. Sponsors? Oh, that's our sponsors. Uh, here we go. Circuit info. Uh, overview, strategies, expected strategies, pit stop window, compound preferences. Come on. How long does it take to pit? Time considerations. Green flag, 19 seconds. So that's the gap we've got to be looking at then with Leclerc. If we can try and box him early in this race. Um, so if he was to box now, he'd come out ahead of Sonoda. I want him ideally ahead of sight before I can afford to pit him in this GP. That's what we've got to go with. Red Bull is still chewing through tyres, exactly, and Lewis is still floating two seconds back. The problem is for Lewis now is we've got to use all his spare fuel to just try and keep him close-ish. I mean, the Red Bulls, though, are just harassing each other. How no one's told them to calm it down, I will never know. They're not taking much more out of their tyres than Lewis, though. Lewis, can, Lewis will definitely have better tyres at the end. I think our plan has got to be undercut with Leclerc, try and get him out in front, and then if he's struggling towards the end, Lewis will hopefully be on better tyres than the Red Bulls. So Leclerc will try and use him to hold them up, um, and then hopefully Lewis will jump them. Or Leclerc obviously will build up a gap and then be free. That's what we've got to do. There's so many strategies. Prime Seb or Prime Lewis. I mean, I'm a Lewis fan, I am, yeah, so I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to say Lewis. Imagine an IRL race with this close race. Three cars covered by six tenths. This is what happened in Singapore. Like, this is what happens when Red Bull weren't there. 2023 would have been genuinely one of the greatest F1 seasons of all time if Red Bull didn't show up. And that's a fact. Like, it would have genuinely been nuts. We've got to start speeding this up, though, I think. Just monitor the gaps. So, Lewis now is back under two seconds. Um, but he's still struggling. I mean, he's getting there, isn't he? If we can get Lewis back in that range, then we'll be looking tidy. So, now, if we were to pit Gasly, we'd pretty much be out with. So, we've jumped the Haas cars. We could go with, like, a lap 20 pit stop for Leclerc. Maybe even slightly earlier than that. I mean, it's going to be mad when Lewis does go. And I mean, most of this year is going to be spent just basically waiting for it, isn't it? 
tyres are overheating slightly. That's fine. So Leclerc now would be ahead of Gasly. I still want Stroll and Sainz, though, before I pit. That's what I'm aiming for. Get him out in that gap. Let's, come on, Lewis. Get in the range. Oh, Leclerc's had a little bit of a slip up. Is Lewis there? Is Lewis there? Has he just got himself back in the range? He's looking mighty close. No, he hasn't. That's a real shame. Okay, but he's, he's right on the money still. I don't know what to do with Leclerc here, chat. His tyres are pretty cooked. Can we opt to go for a really early box? I mean, surely Red Bull are going to have to go hard. I reckon we go hard. Did we go hard? No, we can't really go hard with Leclerc, can we? We know we'll make it on mediums. I think he's got to be on softer tyres than those Red Bulls. But it's just how much tyre we like we can take out early on. Uh, Red Bull's still fighting, though, so the Claire's drop back slightly. Uh, but these two still costing each other time is good for us. How far do we reckon the mediums could go? Uh, the next 1998 career mode episode, PTSF, will be out Saturday, is the plan. I need to record that tomorrow morning. Stay out and get past RB. We won't. We just have not got the pace to actually jump at the moment. Like, Leclerc's almost dropping out of the DRS now. He's going to have to start using fuel. Less lift off. Yeah, could be. Like, Leclerc's tyres are getting cooked, chat. We've got to make sure he stays in the range, though. We want to try and get Lewis in his range, though, as well. It's all a little bit nip and tuck at the moment. Lewis is not going to get it. Do we reckon hards could be the way to go? I'm not sure they will be. I think we've just got to get Four Leclerc Michael. in soon. I think, yeah, we've just got to try and get Leclerc into that pit lane quite soon. Hope these Red Bulls continue to battle. Undercut aggressively with him. I mean, could it be worth trying to two-stop him? I don't think so, really. Two-stop doesn't really work in Jeddah. Because he's just so much flat out. Push Leclerc. You reckon? I mean, he's only been able to do a third of the race, hasn't he, on these softs. I think we've got to send Leclerc out on the hards. One, I mean, I want to get that gap over sight still. Um, and we're almost there. We're like three seconds away. Well, we aren't comfortably ahead of Ocon, which I guess is good. But I think, yeah, we're going to have to box Leclerc to hards. Lewis? He's not going to be in particularly great shape either. It is going to be a really long race on the medium. So I think, yeah, what we're going to have to do is box Leclerc early. I mean, could a two-stop be worth it? I don't think it will, will it? We'll have to box Leclerc once he's got this gap over Stroll and Sainz. Then try and get Hamilton in. Sorry, Hamilton's going to have to base... Oh, I've tapped the game. That's not good. Don't even know how I did that. How do I full screen it again, chat? Um, settings. Display. Graphics. Oh, I don't want window. I don't know what I pressed. Ah! Have I broke it? I've broke it. Chat? We good? I think we're good. That's fine. We fixed it. Did we fix it? We fixed it. We haven't fixed it. What's going on? I broke the game, chat. Right. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Just need to make sure it's recording properly. It's the only problem. Right. If we go like that, I believe we're good. We're still good. Wonderful. I've broken stuff again, exactly. 150 racing. Thank you for the sub. Welcome on in. Apply settings. Confirm. That's fine. I just applied them, didn't I? Hey? What's it doing? Oh, it's because I put it in 1920. Ah, oh, great. I'm gonna, I am going to break it again briefly, chat. Don't worry. It's fine. We'll get it. Oh, it's because it was... Yeah. I thought it was odd that it was only running at 1080p. Full screen. Wonderful. Apply. Saving settings. Okay. So I didn't break it that time. Wonderful. Right. We go again then. So Hamilton's now in the range of Leclerc, which is fantastic. Leclerc's tyres, though, are dying. So I think we're going to have to box him. I think we're going to have to try and jump Sainz and uh, Stroll on the road. They aren't going to be far away from pitting, though. So Hamilton's going to have to go really aggressive on the mediums. Leclerc's going to have to box now. And then we're going to have to see what those Rebels do. 
I think Red Bull are going to have to go hard. I don't think they're going to be able to do it. We'll let the Red Bulls battle each other. Leclerc is going to come in, try and get past Stroll and Sainz instantly, and push like crazy for a couple of laps. That's the plan with Charles Leclerc here. We're going to put him on the race fuel. Uh, Hamilton, I'm going to actually give up with the fuel saving at the moment. He's not in the DRS of the top two. He's not going to get in the DRS of the top two. He's just going to focus on doing his own thing. Nice stop. 2.6 isn't bad for Ferrari. That's okay. So where is Stroll? Stroll and Sainz then. Leclerc. So he's going to be out a little way behind them. So yeah, Leclerc now is on full push mode. He hasn't got much battery, but he's going to use the tyres. So, right, push, and we'll go aggressive. We'll use the battery when we get to George and Stroll. Uh, sorry, Science and Stroll, even. We won't bother worrying about that yet. So, Leclerc is 19 and a half seconds back then when he's out of pit lane. Let's just monitor that gap, see how much it comes down by. Is Lewis, he might actually get in the range of Perez here soon. And think about it. He's looked after those tyres way better than that top two. So, we've got to hope that he can make this work. So yeah, Hamilton we're going to try and keep him out until sort of lap 30. Then he's going to nurse a set of softs to the end and hopefully have the pace. How is Leclerc still losing time? Why is Leclerc... Right, okay, now he's gaining. Is he gaining? Right, Leclerc started again. That's all right. Don't... It's still, what I would love is the Red Bulls to box and then we get a safety car so Lewis can pit. That's what we'd ideally need. But Leclerc's lost half a second this lap. And I'm starting to get a bit worried that he just simply doesn't have the pace against that top two. We need Perez and Verstappen to fight, and that's exactly what they're doing. All right, you two, keep having beef. Let Hamilton get close. Keep beefing each other. And we'll go from there. Come on, Charlie. See if you could two... No, Lewis, there's no way Lewis is two stopping. Eugene, someone paid for me to put sunglasses on, so we have got sunglasses on. Love it. So now the gap is starting to come down a little bit. Helped, of course, by the fact those Red Bulls are still fighting. But if we can get that gap under 18 seconds, then I think we should be good, chat. I just don't know what temperatures we can afford to run those hards at for how long. Come on, Leclerc, that gap's down to 19 and a half now. We've got to use the ERS when he gets to Science and Stroll. I would hope that they pit before we get there, but they won't. Hamilton should comfortably make it to lap 30. That's the good thing here. So he should comfortably make it to lap 30, and then we'll be aggressive on those ties towards the end. The Staffan and Perez are still fighting. This is beautiful. When they go side by side through there, they lose a lot of time. So that's really good to see. Um, but, yeah, we've got to get Leclerc in the DRS now with these two. I don't want him to close up to him through the first sector, though. That's the problem. And I think he's going to, isn't he? Right, so we'll put Leclerc on... We'll wait till we get round to the back straight, actually. Right, Leclerc is going to have to go on deploy. And he is going to have to go attack. Well, this could be race-defining chat. Leclerc has got to make these moves happen. And he's got to make them happen now. You can see that gap's already back up to 19. This is not good. Right, come on. Come on, Leclerc. You've got to get around George. He's not our battle. We need to shift him. Round the outside. Okay. Yes, Charlie boy. Fantastic little manoeuvre. Right, get... Um, get Stroll now as well. Back either down into the final corner or back down to turn one. And this will be okay. We won't have lost much from it. So he's put a move on his former teammate. That is fantastic. Stroll, get in the bin. Why is DRS? Oh, DR ERS, sorry. I thought you said DRS. Right, get round him, get round him, get round him. Nicely move, fantastic. Right, now go. Go, go, go. Right, if we can get him out of the range, that's good. So we should now chat. 
we might not be ahead of um, Red Bull just yet, but we're pretty much there. They are going to have to go hard. I don't see a way they can take softs to the end of this. Hamilton, though, might just be able to. Russell, he's wrecked those softs. He's still clawing on out there, but he has wrecked them. And we're going to be almost out of the range immediately of Stroll. So we can afford to put him back into neutral. Uh, Leo, hope you're doing well, mate. Welcome on in. I'm doing well, mate. Tire management on this game here is really tricky. It's about the heat as much as anything else. Um, but you've kind of got to push the hard tyres, I think. We, well, we have to anyway. We've got no choice. We've got a lot of spare fuel, though. So Leclerc might literally be able to sit on rich fuel for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, those gaps are coming now. So really now it's a question of when we'll do Red Bull Pit, I think. We're out of that gap, which is good. George has finally pit, so Leclerc's back into P5. Um, you can see that gap is just coming down sensibly. Fire temperature, you're fine, don't worry. Are we having some issues? I believe we're back live. Our numbers look good by end. You say for some reason just... I have to restart it sometimes. I paused the game though as soon as we saw we had problems. So hopefully uh, everyone is back in and okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's always a fun part of doing this now apparently. But there we are. Can you all hear me? See me? Are we back? Are we good? Hopefully we're good. Um, I dropped the keyboard I was using as well actually. On the floor. So yeah, we're basically at half race distance. Do I need to charge? Yeah, I need to probably charge Lewis's battery back up a little bit. It's what happens when you manage Ferrari. Exactly. My, everything just dies. An awful, awful death. Uh, yes, numbers look good though, chap. So we'll, we'll, we'll get going again. Wonderful. I do apologise. Those of you that are regular to the streams know that this happens a lot. Right, so Leclerc is less than 17 seconds back now. Uh, he's starting to struggle though on tyres slightly. Um, but really, so we'll bring it back down to standard. Lewis's battery actually is just kind of all over the show, but we're waiting on those top two to pit. So Bono reckons pit window's been entered. Surely Red Bull aren't stretching this. They might actually be doing that, which is rather alarming if they are. I mean, we've got to see what they're doing, don't we? Um, Paro's new fast lap of the day. Oh, Ocon pit stop issue. I'm to him. So Alpine's crew are ready to act. Yeah, but the hard, the problem is with that pass is it just costs you so much time. But the French went on strike. That's what happened there. So he's going soft. So that's a shame. AI might be going soft still. We might be in trouble. When are Verstappen and Perez pitting, man? Can I undercut them? Uh, we'll ignore that for now. They're going soft, aren't they? Just no. Yeah, Para's in. What's he done? What's he going on to? Para's has gone soft, chat. We are so in trouble. Right. Uh, well, we'll try Harvest then. How are Red Bull doing this, man? I mean, Leclerc will be out in front of them, which is good. Leclerc's a long way out in front, actually. This is not over. Okay. Okay, we've got a chance. He's going to be on two stages of harder tyres towards the end. Uh, but we basically just got to see if we can keep him out there in front. So Leclerc will bring him back to neutral, actually. Because we want to monitor that gap to Perez. So six seconds to Perez back. BZ, welcome back on him, mate. Yeah, Red Bull are doing, definitely doing soft. So Lewis is in trouble as well. Um, Max was not that... No, that's not... Is that Max? Ah, uh, no, that's a McLaren in the way. Oh, we should have pit then. Get that McLaren out of the way. We'll, we'll box Lewis now, then, onto a fresh set of softs. Such a shame the box way box. Ferrari were able to do this on this game. This so, I mean, Leclerc is still rapidly taking time yeah, out of Max. We might still be able to fight if their tyres fall off towards the end. So, Hamilton, good stop. But Stappen has lost that a lot to Perez as well. So it might be Perez versus Leclerc here towards the end. Leclerc might not be out of this yet, chat. Because obviously their softs are going to get destroyed. The Red Bulls won't battle each other now. This basically the top four are now spread out. 
basically, Lewis needs a safety car. Um, Max and... Um, Max and Lewis need a safety car. Stroll has set new fast lap. We've just got to monitor the gap to Perez. So we're still going to be using that fuel. And we're going to try and actually get Hamilton pushing again. We can drop the lift coast. We'll bring it back to neutral later. anyway. Understood. So he's 14 seconds back now behind Leclerc. So no need to charge. Perez is obviously going to be quicker than Leclerc towards the end of this race, but it's just by how much. And the answer currently is a lot. So I reckon when Perez gets close, we're going to have to get the elbows out. Which is basically happening immediately. Okay, we are in trouble. We are in real trouble here. Red Bull, I think, have just simply got the better of us here, and I don't think there's a lot we can do about it. I don't think it's worth boxing Leclerc again. He's come out P5. Um, but, I mean, he's just hounding us, isn't he? Yeah, all we can hope for is that Leclerc can stay in the range and their softs fall off. That's all we can really hope for. But obviously, Leclerc's taken a lot out of his early on in the stim. See if we get some DRS off that lapped car. Otherwise, yeah, it's going to be a lot of micromanagement trying to keep him in that range. Is he still on aggressive tack reset? Yeah, we'll put him on medium again. He's confident in the car. Um, but it's just about what he's going to be able to do and how much confidence he loses. Um, losing the lead, obviously, to Perez. Yeah, we have both got DRS, though, off those cars behind. Off, oh, sorry, Lando in front, even, who's a lap now, or Piastri, even. So that's okay. Ugh, losing me headphones. Yeah, I mean, the soft should fall off towards the end. They're already, I mean, he's been on them for, what, five laps, and they're already down to 80%. So he's going to be really struggling, actually, towards the end of this. Perez has basically had to gamble on those tyres early. Um to kind of pray that he'd actually get a look in because he actually loses a bit of time there behind Lando as well which is good um, but yeah there's probably going to be about another 5 laps before his tyres are worse than ours but 15 laps to go at this Grand Prix Hamilton and Verstappen are basically going to hope these two battle to see if they can get back in it um, but yeah Verstappen's running laps quicker than Lewis can at the moment how is Alonso back in this? surely he's got a pit again no he hasn't how is Alonso back with Lewis in this race? I don't want to end up battling him towards the end, surely. Just go a little attack mode for a lap. Use the overtake. Okay. Problem is, I don't really feel like I can sit back now and watch this unfold, because Perez will get past us at any moment. So we're going to try and make sure we keep Alonso at bay. Hamilton, I think, is locked into P4 here. Is the problem. Here goes Checo, though, again with the DRS. But Leclerc is doing a good effort trying to hold him up. Here goes Perez, though, to the inside. And I think this time around he is through. Will Leclerc be able to do anything back down in towards turn one? Lewis, we can leave him on neutral now. Right, we've just got to hope Leclerc can hang with him. That's going to be the big thing for basically the next five or six laps. Pray Max doesn't get in the fight. We'll take the fast lap bonus point if we can. It still seems weird seeing Hamilton's name in red. Um, but, yeah, Lewis has basically got no spare fuel. He might be able to work those tyres a bit harder, but I don't think it's worth it at the moment. How is Leclerc already out of the range? How does that happen so fast? We cannot let Checo get away. Like, it just cannot happen. Otherwise, we are in big trouble. Tire difference. 69% to 66. Oh, Perez is ruining those tyres, though, chat. Perez, his tyres are going to be wrecked. Uh, uh, Alpine, yeah, got an actually quite interesting junior lineup at the moment. They need a junior Formula 1 team. That's what they need to do. Oh, damn it, man. I've got to manage this better. I've got to manage this much better than I am at the moment. Oh, Verstappen's got to poach me faster lap. Right, we'll, we'll use Lewis for faster lap bonus point, I think. I mean, to be fair, Lewis and Max might get back to this fight before the end. Perez's tyres are going to get wrecked. Oh, he's in the range. He's in the range. This is good. But Max is right there as well. Max Verstappen might ruin this for me. Tires about the non. Let's stay out. Right, we're back in the range. That's fine. We can sit there. We can sit there. Max is the real threat at the moment, exactly. 
This is getting really close towards the end. I mean, I don't even think we can afford to take Lewis out of the equation. I think we've got to try and get Lewis back in this before the end. Because he could still be a threat, but Max is looking at That was the last laps. Max to the 29.6. What is that? Oh, here goes Verstappen. I'm not really sure what we can do at the moment. I think that second Red Bull has just got the pace. He's thrown to P2. I mean, we've got to just hope Perez gets the elbows out with him, but I'm worried that Max will sail past him. And we won't be able to do anything. Surely their tyres are going to hit the cliff before the end still. Surely. Max is just so OP on this game. He's going to go to the outside of Checo now. No, he's not. Ten laps to go of this Grand Prix. Oh, he's done it. Clean around the outside. Will Perez be able to get a run back down into turn one on him? Otherwise, this might be game over. Come on, Checo. Go for it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Oh, he looked. He looked. I mean, in the ideal world, both Red Bulls take each other out. But yeah, Max has pretty much now gone, I think. Unless we can get Leclerc past now. Let's lift off. Yep. Slower car there. Does get out of the way. Out for a male. That's good. Yeah, Max is gone. We've basically got to hope their tyres fall off. Fall to pieces. And that Perez drops out of the range as well. Why is Leclerc losing so much now, suddenly? How has he completely fallen off? He was battling Perez, like, two laps ago. We've just got to hope, yeah, Perez's tyres fall off. We can't do anything else. Gap's floating around the two-second mark, but Max is gone. Lewis is closing in. Lewis might still get P2 in all of this. We might have to let Lewis pass Leclerc. Uh, just to see if he can get Perez before the end of this thing. Yeah, we've got we to tell Perez. Oh, sorry, we've got to tell Leclerc. Let Lewis by. Yeah, Max has kind of decided this weekend that he's just comfortably winning this one, isn't he? Uh, we can afford to put Lewis back under the rich revs, though. And think about less lifting coast. Lewis, uh, Leclerc hasn't got much spare anymore. Ah, what am I doing? Come on. We need to let him by. Tactics. Uh, don't fight teammate. Let him by, please, Charles. He needs to try and go after Max. Uh, after Checo, even. I hate doing it to Charles, because he seems to be better. He'd just throw his strategy under the bus. Right, go. Go, Lewis, go. Right. What are Perez's tyres doing? Perez's tyres are on 49%. I wish there was an option just to burn a little bit more revs. Uh, burn a little bit more battery, but there isn't. So we've just got to monitor that. So the gap between Lewis and Checo then. Three seconds with four laps to go. We've got to save a little bit of battery though, ready for that final lap. I think we can afford to put Checo, uh, Leclerc back into that. It's so gutting, man. Yeah, we've got to push on both of them, you're right. But why is that gap not coming down to Checo? Surely his tyres are falling off. Ah, oh, we're losing time behind that lap car. That didn't help. Come on, we can't lose to both Rebels here. We've got to at least get back past Perez. Surely his tyres are going to fall apart. Gap's under three again. Leclerc is hanging close as well, which is good. Oh, man, it's so annoying, though. The way Verstappen just... they they You think they've put him on a bad strategy because then he loses that a little bit and then he's just suddenly so much faster in the second half. Be the force, welcome on him. If you've got any questions about Formula 1, mate, fire away. Right, I reckon we should still... We'll definitely get Perez with Hamilton at least. But I'm not sure about Leclerc still. We're going to have to try and make Leclerc push towards the end. Well, we may as well go full attack mode on Leclerc, to be honest. On the tyres. His tyres will be fine. Um, Lewis's tyres are starting to get close as well. But we need to get him in the range. I think that's going to be the big thing. Come on!
Right, Lewis is almost back in there with three laps to go. Leclerc, the gap is three, four seconds to Perez. Right, Lewis's got DRS. Come on, you just got to get past him now, mate. You've got to try and slow him back into Leclerc. Either have a battle with him or get round. Right, we're going to go full deploy. We just want to get past him. I don't even care if we battle him now, as long as we get ahead of him at the end, even if we slow him down to help Charlie Boy out. That's all I'm really worried about. Come on. Back down towards Selmon. Two laps to go. Red Bull have just had that little bit more pace than us tonight, which is a shame. Hey, welcome in, Christopher, man. Hope you're doing well. Two laps remain. Soft tyres go to 130 degrees. That's wild. They'll be destroyed, though, won't they, in that kind of temp. Come on, Lewis. Clean around him. Get it done. Get it done. Wonderful. All right, run away. Oh, TV wants to turn off. Hamilton hyped up. He's back into P2. Familiar territory. At the last weekend. Will we get out of the range of Leclerc? Ah, uh, Perez, though. Because that way, then, Leclerc can go for it. Come on, Lewis. Push, push, push. So it's called tyres down. No, nope, don't worry about the tyres yet. I think three seconds in a lap is, is a bold call. Amansuki, welcome on in. Hope we're doing well. Oh, it's going to be mighty close. If we get Perez out of the range, there is still a chance. He's out. Good. He's out before we get to the detection point as well. Lewis, we can afford to put you back in balanced. Just get that car to the end in P2. Leclerc, what do we do with you, young man? I mean, he's pushing. He's pushing already. But that gap is still floating around the three seconds. After 130, yeah, they fall sure off. That, uh, we oh, we're going to keep pushing the Leclerc then to the end. I mean, I'm just going to go all out with Charlie Boy, but I think his tyres are dying. I mean, Perez's tyres are down at 39%. His should be worse than anyone else's. But it just doesn't look to be happening at the moment. Perez still isn't in the range. Oh, Perez is back in the range. No. Right, Leclerc, I'm sorry. You're bringing home P4, mate. It's over. And we are now in big trouble with Lewis. How has Perez stayed there with him? Around the outside through turn one. Perez is back through. Right, we'll save fuel. Well, we don't need to save fuel around here, but we're going to have to eye this up down the back straight. Oh, we're going to end up in another last lap battle, but it's with the wrong Red Bull this time. It is such a shame. Right, we'll set it up when he gets out of here. Push, 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 Lewis. Just go. Full out attack. Come on, we cannot lose to both of them. I, ha I have had to throw Leclerc under the bus at the end of this race. I'm sorry. It's not the move I wanted to do, but it's the move I've had to do. Come on, Lewis. Lewis is again going to finish one of these races with basically no fuel. We've been watching for years on F1 2018. Wow, we. Thank you very much, my friend. That is a long, long time ago now. It's kind of worrying. How far back that is. Right, Perez is going defensive. Come on. Lewis, you got one chance. Final corners. We've got no more battery. You've just got to make it happen with the DRS and the fuel. Is he gaining? He's not even gaining. Lewis, no. Come on, man. Out of the final corner. Max Verstappen is going to win the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. But I think Perez has got enough. Lewis is right on the cusp of fuel again. And twice in a row, we are going to suffer heartbreak against Red Bull here. Hamilton once again will run out of fuel over the line. We just did not have enough to beat them. We just didn't have enough to get for, uh, to get ahead of Red Bull tonight. I think, to be honest, to be eight tenths away from him at the end of that is not not too disappointing either. Um, but oh, it's so heartbreaking when you're that close, but just can't quite get the jump. We will beat them, I'm sure, very soon. But we might have to go for some really rogue strategies. Kind of throw one driver completely under the bus. I reckon we're going to have to gamble Leclerc on a two-stop somewhere. I think that's going to be the game plan at some point this season. Um, but that is heartbreaking. Alonso, P5. He beats out Stroll this time. Russell beats out Sainz. Gasly, Hulkenberg, our final point scorers there. So Ocon, after that crashing qualifying, doesn't even get a point. Not least for George Russell there. I thought he was saying George Russell had won that. And some points for the team. I don't really care what George Russell's done, to be honest. Uh, Yorick, thank you for the follow. The highly decorated record well, Hamilton back on the podium again then, but this time around it's only a P3. 
Same top three as it was in the first round. I'm taking those off now, perhaps. Oh man, what a race. What a race. That's a shame. Now the drivers can relax after an eventful weekend at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Yeah, I put Leclerc on the hards again. I'm sorry. But we survived in the end. I don't I think, yeah, we pushed him too hard on the softs at the start. As as Red Bull just had more pace today, I think, think, to be honest, we were lucky. Hey, Bold, are you two? They'd be pleased to have What's Ferrari done to these two men? Well done for sure. Oh yeah, I'm not getting up in the morning to do the um, okay, V-car. I'm not doing the V-car at that time in the morning. We will get them very under. soon, I'm sure. Australia is normally a good track. On the shores of the Albert Park Lake. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, there we go then. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by tonight. Max Verstappen is once again your Formula 1 race winner there. 51 points for him. Perez now ahead of uh, Hamilton by virtue of a fastest lap bonus point there. And Charles Leclerc forever confined to P4 so far this season. It is it is heartbreaking for Charles. Constructors-wise, obviously, we're still P2, but the gap now 27 points. Um, so, yeah, that's that's a bit of a shame there. Only Williams... Oh, Alpha Tauri and McLaren and Alfa Romeo haven't scored yet. So, Haas get their first point on the board. That might be really good for them uh, by the end of the year there. But, yeah, thank you all so much for stopping by. Um, and yeah, we'll return. I believe we might do something Saturday. I haven't quite decided what we're going to do yet. Um, BZ, I wish you all the best of luck in your physics test as well. Uh, but if we're not live Saturday, then we'll be live back again. Uh, I believe actually Tuesday night. I'm actually out Monday. Um, so we'll be back Tuesday night with another stream. But yeah, thank you all.